welcome one and all fellow fans of Clash of Clans. First of all, just thank you for stopping by, for choosing to spend a few minutes of your day with me and my red-nosed reindeer. It is an exciting time to be a player in Clash of Clans, and we are getting ready for Town Hall 13, and yes, that's right, Town Hall 13 times 3, so get ready. Now, I, first of all, just wanted to say, hey, thank you all for spending so much time on my channel in the last couple of weeks. It has been an amazing time talking about Town Hall 13 and all that is to come. But now is an ideal time to be subscribed because, of course, we will be bringing you Town Hall 13 in all of its glory in the live build in three different ways. So right now we're taking a look at my main account, which... If you're a friend of the channel, you probably know that I've gone a little bit nuts on the magic items and the runes and everything else. So pretty much every time a package has shown up in the shop the last, I don't know, year, I've bought it. Okay, so it's all stacked up and it's been here in preparation for Town Hall 13. Of course, hammers, and I would always say if you can remember, pick up those hammers early because they've got that stupid seven day cooldown now. Also. Wall rings, we will talk a little bit more about wall costs later on, and a couple of little details I may have missed about the Town Hall 13 update that I promised to cover at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. Also, big talk about big giveaways, big giveaways coming to the channel. Now, you can see I'm running through the gold pass. We've got lots of wall rings over here. Six wall rings because sure enough, it looks like it's going to take six to upgrade a wall to level 14. Okay, so yes, this is the home village. This is the Galadon that started at all my main account that I've played on for, I, I can't even tell you how many countless hours of fun. And uh, we'll check out the builder base. As you can see, it is completely maxed out. Of course, we have six builders in the home village thanks to the auto hut over on the builder base. Make sure that you guys know about that. If you haven't had a chance to upgrade it already, it is never too late to start. An extra builder on Town Hall 13 would be amazing for everyone. And then let's switch over to account number two. Yes, I will have to rename Galadon 12.0. His new name, Galadon 13.0. You may know him better as Gem Fix for Max That Rush. This is the $5,000 account that just recently achieved the auto hut as well. Now that episode hasn't even come out yet. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel because I will show you the final parts of the journey to achieve that famous sixth builder on this what was a rushed account and is now, well, it's completely maxed out. So it is ready to go. I feel like what's the sense of leaving it here stuck at 12.0 forever? Let's send it to Town Hall 13. Let's continue this series that you guys have loved so much Gem Fix Farm, max that rush. Even though it's not rushed, we're gonna go to 13 and we are going to farm it. Now, when I say farm, not 100% free to play because that would just take too many hours, too much time, but we will go at a reasonable pace. Now, I do have some magic items that have also stacked up from buying the packages over the past few weeks or months. So we'll have an opportunity to use those and we'll just kind of explore Town Hall 13 on more of a normal pace, more of a pace closer to what an average player would see. Although again, a little bit accelerated simply because I have so many different accounts that it wouldn't make sense to play this one completely free to play. It would literally take years for me to max out. Now, speaking of years to max out, this is the third, actually this is not, this is an example of how we will be getting to Town Hall 13 on the third account. If you recall Galadon question mark point question mark, uh, yeah, so we rushed this account from a brand new baby Town Hall 2 to Town Hall 12 in one episode in one live stream, fb.gg slash realgaladongaming, and it was a lot of fun, so we're gonna do it all over again. Now, we'll see if Supercell has changed any of the way things work when you go through the stages. We will get a chance to see all of the Town Hall packs and what they look like, and we'll see if we can't possibly get to Town Hall 13 again on this account without placing the heroes. And then again, at the end of it, what will we do with that account? I don't know, but please don't ask me to give it to you. I see that a million times in the comments and I don't know if you guys know this, some of you apparently don't. You cannot buy, sell, share, trade, or otherwise 
have other people use your account without risking getting it banned. So just don't do it. And please don't ask. I cannot, even if I wanted to, give you one of my accounts or take your account and max it out or play it or anything else. It just, it can't happen in Clash of Clans. So this is the account. Gala no that is going to go to Town Hall 13, we hope. Uh, that is the intention anyway. So I thought, hey, you know what? As long as this is going to happen, let's give some players a chance to hang out in a viewer clan. So yes, this will be an episode that'll show up on YouTube, but also it's going to be a Facebook live stream. So let's see if some people want to come hang out with me in Facebook gaming. So uh, just a, a friendly, shameless advertisement there for Facebook gaming and my Facebook gaming page. If you guys want to join the clan, here it is. And I tell you what, we'll just go ahead and set it to open. Anybody can join for now. And I'll let you see the hashtag right there. If you want to, you're welcome to join. I just can't promise that you won't get kicked by uh, some random rushed noob. So it's possible. But that's going to be exciting. So that'll be the third Town Hall 13 account that we create. And it's going to be a crazy time again to play Clash of Clans. I am super pumped, super excited. And one of the biggest things I'm excited for is actually one of the simplest, the increases to some of the troop and spell levels. And that is because it looks like my favorite attack in the world, which is Queen Charge Hog Rider, okay? Yes, I realize I'm also probably better at spam attacks, but when this goes down right, this is definitely my favorite attack. It is so much fun to watch. And now Hog Rider's going to level 10. We've got a new hero to help out, and we've got the healers are going up another level as well. Their heals aren't going to work as well on troops, but they're going to work better on heroes, so that could help out a Queen Charge type thing. Super excited about that. And then, of course, even Balloons. My Coconut Loon's going to get another level. And, of course, uh, we didn't talk about the hero level specifically, but the 65 King and Queen going to 70, the 40 Warden going to 50. Super psyched and pumped about that as well. And I just cannot wait. Now, I do have a few other questions to answer at the end of the episode, but I also just wanted to quickly let you know, a lot of players ask me to buy them a gold pass. Now, technically, I can't buy anybody a gold pass because Supercell has not given anybody the ability to gift gold passes. That would be great. I would love it. And if they did, I would buy tons and give them out to you guys in game. But so far, there is no functionality that allows that to happen. So being an American, if you didn't know, I live in Southern California, uh, living in SoCal, I don't have access to any way to get international style money to people. Okay, there's just not an easy way to do it. So the best thing I can do is buy iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon gift cards. Now I think the Amazon gift cards work all over the place. I know the iTunes only work in the US, the Google Play, sometimes I've heard people in other countries have been able to use them. But if you guys have a better idea uh, besides PayPal, uh, let me know and I would love to use that as well. Maybe there's another gift card out there. Uh, maybe there's even a PayPal cash gift card, I'm not sure. But if something like that is possible, because I want to be able to give stuff out to more players. And remember, I'm giving away tons of stuff in the coming months because of the creator code. So many of you are using creator code Galadon that I am literally going to have hundreds and hundreds of dollars to give back to you, the community, in gift cards. And of course, an equal amount is going to charity. So you can, down in the comments, either beg me for giveaways, but more likely you're going to get them if you follow me on Twitter at Galadon Gaming. Just a big hint to you right there. The name is right there on the right hand side of the screen. If you missed it, at Galadon Gaming on Twitter. Or if you prefer, let me know a charity that you are a big fan of somewhere around the globe and I will get behind that charity as well. We've got lots of charities to give to this holiday season and moving forward into 2020. And hopefully you guys are going to stay subscribed. You guys are going to stay tuned because you know I'm going to bring you the earliest and most accurate update information amongst other entertaining series. And uh, speaking of entertainment, let's go ahead and drop down into the comments on some of my recent videos and uh, just to answer a few quick questions. So uh, Randall made a really good point, and that is that the auto ability of the heroes will screw you up if you're trying to use the Grand Warden to protect his hit from the Eagle or the Town Hall. But remember, it won't activate until the Warden is just about to die or any of the heroes are just about to die, so you can always use it early. And of course, in my last episode, I showed you how to turn that functionality off in the settings. 
Next comment, was that an ice wizard? Why well, yes, it was. The seasonal troop only coming back to Clash of Clans will be the ice wizard. Now to cover a few quick gala fails from last episode. Yes, I forgot to mention there is a new bomb and a new Seeking Air Mine level coming to Town Hall 13. So yes, when you go to 13, you can upgrade your bombs to level nine. You're Seeking Air Mines to level four. That is definitely going to cause problems for some air attacks. And that's not the only thing I left out. I unfortunately also forgot to mention the cost of the new walls. Is it insanely high? It's, well, I, relatively speaking, I don't think it's too bad. Six million. And remember, we can always get those gold pass discounts to bring that price down just a bit. And of course, remember, only 100 walls coming at the beginning of Town Hall 13. Obviously, as we go through Town Hall 13 and it matures, they will unlock more walls until eventually all the walls look the same. Now, yes, I did absolutely screw it up. Miners' hit points are being increased by 30, not decreased. So I'm excited about that as well, because next to Hog Riders, I am a big fan of minor attacks. Now, for some other things that aren't getting changes, notice there were no changes to the army capacity or army camps. So, you know, was it necessary? It's going to be one of those things we have to wait and see. Could it come at a later date? That's also possible. Also possibly coming at a later date will be other defensive upgrades that we didn't see at the beginning of this update, like the archer towers, mortars, bomb towers, and air sweepers. Another detail I failed to include when I mentioned that the clan castle was getting a new level is the fact that it holds 45 space now. I feel bad about this. I know it's a minor ticky tack detail, but I pride myself on accuracy and I can't believe I left that out. So again, let's check it out. What will people be putting in there? It's only five space, but it could offer some interesting combinations on offense and defense in the future. And then just a couple other general comments. How about the Builder Hall? Well, yeah, unfortunately, you don't usually see Builder Hall changes come with home village changes. I don't have any word on a Builder Hall 10 at all, so we'll just have to wait and see on that one. And then how about this one? Why would you upgrade everything with gems on day one? What? 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 Wait, well, hey, OK, welcome to the channel. And then comments like this, I have to say thank you. You guys that take the time to leave kind comments like this and that use creator code Galadon, thank you guys so much. You honestly make my day every single day. And then those of you that are saying that this update is not original, I beg to differ. I think there is quite a bit of original content coming to Town Hall 13, and I, for one, am excited about it. Uh, this was different, and I didn't realize this, but I do practice good diction and enunciation thanks to Gallimom teaching me so many years to say words correctly. So thank you, and thank you again for the kind comments. And then why is the laboratory three by three? Remember, sometimes when things get too big, you've got to make room to fit everything in. Peter, said. stop. Just stop. All right, that is going to wrap up this episode, but thank you for sticking around all the way to the end. You are the true hashtag Galafam. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks and try to get that one, YouTube subtitles. Episodes are better because of Peter $17. Hmm.